Hey everyone, my name is Fossey and this is The Council. So this is a brand new gameplay series. Um, it's a really, it's a really cool one because uh, I really like these uh, these narrative adventures. And the council is an adventure where every choice matter. I mean, we've heard that a lot, right? Um, you play these these telltale games, for example, where every choice matters, you know. Um, but in this game, you have uh, some skills as well to predict the outcome of maybe a social interaction um so you have to have to assign your skills and you have to prepare uh beforehand before you talk to a a person to gain the desired outcome so i can just um summarize shortly the story here this is uh, basically a secret society where all kinds of uh, people um, are gathering together for example napoleon is is here and uh george washington uh, just to name two uh, two prominent figures, and there's also a murder investigation, and um, we, so the pro protagonist, um, is investigating, and uh, all these all these figures here, all these characters have uh, some kind of hidden agenda. They have dark secrets or whatever, and we need to lay them open. And to do that, we need to assign skills. We need to prepare. We need to read. We need to have vast knowledge of each character. And of course, there's no game over here because every choice matters. And um, I think this is a really cool idea. So um, there are two episodes currently. I think there are only two episodes in this game. Um, I don't know how long this this will be, but um, I think this could be a really really cool game. And uh, yeah, I think I will just get right into it. not getting anywhere with this Von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational and open. I got it. I've opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchard. Von Borchard. Hmm? Listen. Let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. You want to play the hero. 
Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Act. Trust her. Uh, do I have unlimited amount of time? I, I would like to trust her. Um, because uh, I think she has a... Uh, she has a plan here, and she looks very wise. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe because she's old, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, these are some kind of the of the choices here we have. So I like to trust her. Please, be my guest, mother. Mm. Ah. Ah. Shoot! Ah. Ah. Done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. Mm. I really like the artwork here. The faces looks, look, look awesome. They have these distinct look, right? So, like in Dishonored. Okay, there are some FPS drops, however. This is a bit bad. Music seems to be really good so far. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Von Bertrand's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer. And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island, which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. Ah, so I guess. They are some kind of uh, private investigator pair, right? Mother and son. Something the like that. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some mm -hmm. long-lost mystical mm -hmm. object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Horn. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh no, we have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Horn, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you good, sir. What brings you here? <laughs> Dude, she is definitely something to look at here. <laughs> uh, business with Lord Mortimer or personal reason? Uh, I have business. No need to know the, my personal reason. Lord Mortimer asked me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island, and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Uh, absolutely. Turn the question back to the Duchess. 
Yeah, let's uh, let's hear her. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. Uh, yeah, they if are. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Are you all right? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, Mother! No! Don't! Don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, Sarah. Don't. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay for what you've done. <sighs> what the fuck was that? You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. What the fuck was that? Was that a vision? I mean, what? I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Oh boy. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Okay, one thing before I uh, move on, I will just check one thing. Alright, I'm back. Apparently these FPS drops cannot be uh, cannot be helped because uh, the optimization is quite bad. And also I need to adjust this thing here. Uh, the camera sensitivity. Put it 60 or whatever with this. Okay, we uh, got something, right? Um, do I have some kind of... Uh, of an overview. Okay, this is running. Just wanna wanna see here. If I can interact with with uh, some some things. Apparently not. Oh, Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess. I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Oh, ah, yeah, yeah, you have a, a talent tree, right. Uh, your class, you can choose a class. This is cool, man. So we can either be a diplomat, the diplomat shines in society. A talented speaker, he avoids faux pas, and he can convince those with whom he's talking without offending them. Politics is his field of predilec predilection. Mm. You're a cultist? 
The occultist is the master of deception. Convinced of the importance of knowledge, he has acquired extensive expertise in science and the arts. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. And the detective. The detective excels in investigation. He is trained to notice every detail in his surroundings as well as in people he questions. A hands-on man, he does not shy away from the direct approach. Okay, it defines your basic skills. The other skills will be still available, but unlocking them will be more expensive. So, I don't want to be a diplomat. This sounds boring. Occultist or detective. This sounds cool. Expertise in science. This is nice. Um, but the detective is also very cool. Uh, let me view the skills here. The questioning. Okay. Oh, what to choose here, man? Uh, using... Yeah. Master of Deception. Exceeds. You know what? I'm, I'm, I want to be a detective, I think. Questioning, Vigilance, Psychology, ag Agility, Logic, Manipulation, Occultism, Erudition, Sciences, Subterfuges. Yes. I will do this one. Um, okay. So, I can assign some skills, right? So, I have three available points here. Uh... Wait, wait, wait. Remove. Aha. So this is the psychology thing here, right? No. Ah, now I see. Th these are my, my detective skills. These are the occult occultism and... Okay, okay. Uh, so read people's behavior like an open book. Yes. At one point. Okay, what is this? Uh, notice noteworthy details or oddly placed elements. Use your logical mind and oratorical talents. Use your coordination against your surroundings and sometimes against people. And notice anything strange in someone's behavior or appearance. Yes. Yes. This one and this one here. Vigilance. Okay. Validate holds. Uh, you pass. You pass. Granted you once in manipulation. Okay. Well, over the last few years, I've solved a number of crime cases. Like the chauffeur d'Angers, for example. Thieves that tortured their victims with burning embers. Hmm, charming. How did you catch them? I told the most cowardly one that the others had given him up. Ah, and I wager your thief suddenly started to talk. You wouldn't believe it. He told us everything. The jobs, the stashes, the names of his partners. <laughs> Couldn't shut him up. I heard about that case, but I didn't know you were the one who solved it. I'm flattered that the news made it across the channel. And you've got a darn good memory. Duchess. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? No, not at all. So lie to her? Not at all, sorry. Eh? Not at all, so lie to her. Not at all, sorry. Eh, these are the... When, when this is a lie, not at all, then this is also a lie, huh? Not at all, so lie to her. Not at all, sorry. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm, I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Please, stop torching me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No. Sorry, I, I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. Opportunities. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points. Success the skill required for the situation you just need to have un you have unlocked it. Validate hold. Huh? Ah, okay. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Ah, okay, okay. Personality. Each person you meet on the island has their own personality which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. 
Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. Review immunities and vulnerability in the journal tab in the menu. Immunity revealed and vulnerability revealed. Push the space button to access your menu pages. Huh? Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Wait a minute. One, one, one second, guys. Um, because this was this popped up here. So this is the map, right? Um, what about here? The inventory. This is okay. One skill point in psychology. Emily's handkerchief. The blood stain on it is yours. It bears her initials E H, and Mortimer's invitation. Let's read this. Dear Monsieur de Richet, I am writing to you to express my embarrassment regarding the situation in which I find myself. As you probably know, I had invited your mother, Sarah de Richet, to join me on my island several weeks ago. We had projects in common regarding your order. Her stay was going smoothly until yesterday when your mother suddenly disappeared. I do not want to overworry you, but I would like you to, to join me as soon as possible so we can shed some light on this mystery. Please accept, sir, the expression of my highest consideration. Yours sincerely, Lord William Mortimer, Marquis of Westfordshire. Okay, journal here. Derichet, Sarah, this is my mother. Sarah Faustin Derichet is a rich French aristocrat. 34 years ago, Sarah took over one of the most important secret societies, the Golden Order. Aha! A woman of strong will, Sarah endeavored to infiltrate the highest circles of society. Politics, trade transactions, secret of state or paranormal spheres. The Order had an eye over everything. One of the biggest areas of growth that Sarah brought to the Order was the development of, of its branches in America, Europe and Central Africa. Not to mention the expansion of her occult section, which she took care of personally. Since he was just a boy, Sarah has been preparing her son, Louis, to become the new face of the Golden Order. Okay. What is this? Richie, Emily Hillsborough. Okay. What about... This year. The only son of Sarah, Louis Moreau de Richet, is a young Parisian aristocrat. Ever since he was a young child, Louis moved in his mother's circles, and so it was natural that on his 14th birthday, he entered the Golden Order, the secret society headed by Sarah. Precocious, -pre Louis progressed quickly at her side. Despite the daily treatment his mother pre prescribed for his chronic migraines, he climbed the ladder until he was able to assist his mother in her cold cases for which she was particularly talented. As time went by, he became shaped in the image that his mother had held for him. Okay, and here Emily. Immunity logic. So she is immune to logic. I really like the faces here. To be discovered. There's one thing to be discovered, okay. Emily Hillsborough is an English duchess, close to the English crown. Very discreet about her origins, Emily only came onto the political scene after her wedding that some qualified as a marriage of interest to an old English aristocrat on the decline. Liber libertarian, modern but discreet, she has taken it upon herself to establish close ties with her peers. In a few years she has become the favorite diplomat of the Queen, which is what probably prompted her Prime Minister William Pitt to take her as a private secretary, thus provoking much suspicion and jealousy. As a regular visitor, Emily accepted Sir Gregory Holmes' invitation to come to Lord Mortimer's island because for nothing in the world would she miss one of these famed reception. And this Russian guy here, or whatever this was, or Italian. Giuseppe Piaggi, to be discovered. His eminence, the Cardinal Giuseppe Piaggi, is the legate of Pope Pius VI. A distinguished speaker, Giuseppe Piaggi worked throughout his career to serve the principles of the Roman Catholic Church. A man of science and amateur philosopher, he quickly caught the ear of the Pope who discreetly named him Cardinal, in pectore. He was thus able to use this relationship of trust to help Pius VI in his difficult mission of guiding the faithful. Invited by Sir Gregory home, Piaggi is delighted to meet his old friend Mortimer in order to represent the interests of the Holy See. Okay, this is the map, the character, yes, this is this. The talents, wow, there are lots of talents, I guess, um, yes. So here, for example, we progressed um, by talking, by questioning, um, I guess, and vigilance and psychology are the uh, talents that we could skill, right? All right, confrontation succeeded. Okay, okay, and the traits. What is this? Charismatic presence. You gain one skill point in manipulation. You have always been charismatic, trusting. You trusted your mother and detective. You have chosen the detective class. All right, all right. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. 
I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Talents. You, ob ah, you obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review the unlock conditions and effects as they, are, if, as they offer very interesting improvements. Okay. Yeah. So, the first thing was kind of a quick time event, right? Whoa, what is this? Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Yeah, I'm sorry for these, uh, maybe some FPS drops here. Um, it's not my fault. <laughs> it's the other's fault, as always. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Thank you. Where is Lord Mortimer? What do you know about my mother? Yeah, what do you know? What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But Sir may rest assured we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. Hmm. Oh, skills. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost is in effort points. Browse your skills. Okay. So I can do this one. Have you found anything here? Difficulty. Can I do this? And did you find anything then? We discovered a certain amount of damage, sir on the wooden part of the wharf. What? What type of damage? What Broken the barrels, mainly. We'll do whatever is necessary to have them rapidly repaired. But quite frankly, I can't imagine what Sir's mother would have been doing with them. What could Mother have been doing with barrels? Nevertheless, our search of the wharf hasn't been entirely unsuccessful, though. What do you mean? We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to Sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Oh, okay. Um, sometimes there is there are some um, I don't know. Some 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 strange drops here. Left me have the handkerchief. I'll take care of it. Um, so why is there a zero here? This one I don't know. Why is there a zero here? I can't. Conviction is locked. This is manipulation locked. Um, difficulty zero. Logic level one. Logic level one. Mm, one second, though. The character, no, the the journal here, right? The servants. Vulnerability is questioning. Okay, I, I could do that. Give me the handkerchief. I'll personally show it to Lord Mortimer. Well, I. I've traveled hard for several days in order to get here. Yes, but invited by your master. No, of course. But... Because my mother went missing right under your nose. Sir, please. And having only just arrived, you refused to give me her personal belongings? Of course not, sir. It was never my intention to contradict, sir. Here you are. Aha. I must return now. It is still much to prepare in order to welcome all the guests. It is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Okay, I don't like that there, that there are things popping up left, right and center here. I don't like that. 
Okay, this is running. Uh, let me just check one thing here. So, I have a mother's handkerchief. Yes. And for the journal, the vulnerability is logic and questioning. All Mortimer servants wear a mask. It is a recurring subject of conversation among the guests. No one knows the true reason. So, I, I really like this, um, this thing here. This vulnerability stuff. I, f I find that as a, as a cool, uh, cool thing here. Um, yeah. So, um, I want to end the session right here. And I need to figure out maybe how to address these FPS drops here. Ah, look at this. Because I'm a detective, maybe I can see here these, these things. Let me have a look at that one before I go off. What is this? Look for clues on your mother, okay. Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. Aha, uh -huh. take the bar, leave it. Uh, take it. This might just come in handy. Alright. Yeah, I think this, uh... The narrative experience is really cool. Um, so we always have choices. We always uh, need to have a look at our our partner who we're talking to, exploit their weaknesses, prepare beforehand. Yes, this is very true. And now we can have a look around and investigate some stuff. So the gameplay is really interesting. I like it so far. The music is kind of cool. The graphics are cool. I like the the artwork. And the technical the technical point is a bit uh, is a bit weak. So the FPS drops and the fact that it's not running at uh, at over 60 FPS here, it's a bit uh, it's a bit bad. Well, what can you do? So I definitely give this game a go, and I hope you liked the the first episode. And um, yeah, I mean you can uh, uh, you can always hit up the comment section and uh, write me your thoughts about the the characters we just we just encountered. Maybe you you uh, see some some secret that I've missed over the. The next few episodes here and maybe i fucked up and uh yeah let's see uh thanks guys for watching really appreciate it and uh take care